In this lesson, we'll learn how to keep our footer anchored to the bottom of the screen, even on large screen sizes. To do this, we'll need a div that holds all of our page content, including the nav, page sections, and footer. And on this div, we'll give it a min height because we want it to be able to get taller if we have more sections. We could use 100 VH, but that could still cause scrolling on mobile since this is the full screen height, including the iOS browser nav. So what we can do instead is use 100 SVH, so it's the inner small screen height, and it's filling all that available space. We'll set this to flex with a direction of a vertical, so things stack under each other. And then we can select our page main. This is the element with the tag of main that holds all of our sections minus the nav and footer. And we'll give this page main a setting of grow if possible, so it fills all the remaining space. Now, sometimes for 404 pages or certain messages, we want the section to fill all that remaining space as well. And to do that on the page main, we can give it a flex direction of vertical also. And that allows us to go to any individual section and set it to grow if possible. So it just fills all that remaining space minus the height of the footer there, regardless of our screen size. Even if we were to be on a much larger screen, this section is filling all the space of the page main. And even if our nav bar here was set to maybe position relative instead of fixed, then that nav is going to start taking up some height. And again, this other section just fills all the remaining space minus the height of the nav and height of the footer. So that's how to set up this layout in Webflow.